Hi, this is John Bremer. And today I want to go over the second part of communion when I was talking about how precious and important communion is. And this is about the seven different ways that Jesus bled. And I'm going to go over what some of those things mean, not all of them. And you can do some research and maybe find out some exciting information and some revelation about it yourself. The first place I want to mention is the sweat on his forehead in Luke 22 and 42. The scripture says that, oh, let me see here, 22, 42. It said, uh, he went down and he prayed and he said, Father, if it be your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. And then the angels appeared from heaven and strengthened him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then, then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling to the ground. That's the first one where he bled for us. The second one is he was slapped on the face. And that's Matthew 26, 67, where they were pushing him around and slapping him. And the next one is uh, they, were, they pulled out his beard and were uh, being rough with him. And that's Isaiah 56. And that symbolizes our priesthood that we're called to be priests. And the next one is the whipping at the uh, when he was whipped. Uh, that represents all of our healing by the stripes of Jesus we have been healed. All sicknesses and diseases just like sin was put on him on the cross and the whipping signifies that. And that is in Isaiah 53, one of my very, very favorite, favorite scriptures is Isaiah 53. Go to my website and get my Isaiah 53 where I took each of the words and I broke them down into what the Greek word actually means. It's really awesome. It would be under my power posters. Okay, um, and that also is not just for our healing, but that's for our peace, for our prosperity, for our pain and disease and sickness. And you can read that in Isaiah 53 and 2 Corinthians 10.5. It's okay. Then the next one is the crown of thorns. And I really like this one because this is a personal revelation that God has given me. And the crown of thorns is representing... Uh, that we are taken from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of love, the kingdom of His Son. The kingdom is now put inside of us. We carry the kingdom of God, and the kingdom rules over everything. And it also represents the thorns uh, piercing into His head is Him um, redeeming us from the curse of the law. And also victory over the kingdom of darkness and that we have the mind of Christ and uh, the stronghold is in our mind and uh, we have to take captive our thoughts that's a whole representative of that whole area then the next thing is uh, I believe that's also Matthew 27 29 and 30 and then the nails in his hands and that's Isaiah 53 verse 3 it took away all our iniquity and our sin and the, also the nails in his feet, we put on the gospel of the uh, preparation of the gospel of peace on our feet. And his feet were nailed and his, and his hands or his wrists were nailed. And so that's another place that he bled from. And we, he has given us power and authority to lay hands on the sick and see them healed, to use our hands and our feet to bring the gospel of peace. And then the last thing is when they pierced his side and blood and water came out. And that is a representative of the Holy Spirit, our helper, will now be loosed to come and partner with us to help us know how to pray, to give us, uh, show us mysteries. He'll show us mysteries. Uh, he will pray for us through speaking in tongues, uh, that he is our helper, our partner. He'll reveal hidden things to us and uh, secrets. He'll pray God's perfect will through us. So that is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. And so I just want to encourage you to study, uh, look at the, the um, podcast before this one on the blood of Jesus. It will really open up your eyes on what communion is all about and how important it is to take the blood of Jesus and the body of Jesus as a symbol into your physical body, uh, taking spiritual substance represented, represented as physical substance. So communion is a very, very powerful 
and strong faith building thing. So take communion and enjoy it and just get hungry about the things of God. My website is robinbremer.net. Uh, go to it, check it out, share it with your social media sites, your groups, your friends, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and uh, just set people free by hearing the word of God. So I'll talk to you tomorrow.